Welcome back, everyone. Amy Banner is with us today, Naturals, with Johnny Appleseed Metro Park District. There's big doings coming up this weekend, the uh, Apple Festival. First of all, tell us all about it. I like the the idea that you're mixing a lot of the standards, a lot of the things people like, and you're mixing in some new things this year. Absolutely. So, yeah, the Apple Festival is this weekend, so September 17th and 18th. That's Saturday and Sunday. Starts at noon, ends at 6 each day. So if you wanted to come for the entire thing, you're absolutely welcome to do that. You can also come anytime in between those times there. Um, a couple new things that we're doing this year. So I'm standing here in front of the Lauer Historical Farm. That's where this is this year. So if you've been to the Apple Fest in the past, typically it's at the farm park, which I'm also new, so it can be a little confusing. Both have farm in their name, but go to the farm park and there's no one there. Well, it's not there this year. So come on over to the Lauer Historical Farm. That's at 800 Roush Road. Um, and it's this building right behind me here. So if you're here and you see a lot of people, now you're in the right spot. So this is this is new this year at this location. So I did just want to highlight that especially. But if you've been here before, you know that it's a pretty big deal. There's lots of people, lots of cool things that are happening. And it's it's that same type of big event this year. So We've got lots and lots of things. Things like we have apples for sale. We have cider. There's apple butter that people can buy as well. Lots of food. So if you do want to stay the whole time, there's lots of things for you to eat. Um, there's the food trucks, so you can actually have a meal itself. And then outside of food, there's plenty of entertainment. There's the actual entertainment stand. So if you're bringing children, there are um, the entertainment features. There's a magician on Saturday. And there's Dr. Insecta on Sunday. So you can always come out and see it, those entertainment pieces. Plus, we have live bands, too. So if you don't have kids and you just want to come for the music, we've got that for you as well. I love there's, the idea. Um, every, every year, Amy, you guys try to mix the, something that's for kids and older adults. That's kind of the idea, right? Something for everyone. Absolutely, yeah. So if you do have kids, um, that's where I'll be. I'll be in the children's tent. And that's going to be just off to the side of this main uh, Lauer Historic building here. Um, so inside the Children's Tent, there's all kinds of things to do. Oh, and by the way, this is a free event. So you can come. You can not spend any money if you want. Obviously, if you want the food, we're going to have a little price for that. But um, just to get in, it's a free event. Over in the Children's section, like I said, that's where I'll be. Um, we do have a couple of things that you can do for free. Or if you want to take home some things, we've got some crafty things that you can do. And that's going to cost just a ticket or two to do that. But you can take home any anything that we have available there. So there's lots of things to do. Like you can catch some crawdads. Um, you can also make some crafts. So if you're more into uh, weaving, we've got that station for you at the Children's Tent as well. Gosh, you got a little bit of uh, something for everyone. G give me a sense. Obviously, you mentioned you're new to this, but this takes a lot of work to get this all together. I'm sure you've been involved there, too. With that historical house back there, we're kind of going like a 1940s time period. This is also something that's a little bit different. Before we had the historic cabin there, so we were, we were much further back in time in like the 1800s. This time around in the 1940s, we're going to stick with that. So we'll have... Um, some of the, the, the activities are going to be themed around there. So outside of the children's tent, there's also going to be games to, to be played. So maybe you, you want to do some pumpkin bowling. We've got that for you. Or see if you can balance an apple on a spoon. We've got that available for you as well. And then, like I said, that's just the kids. We also have things for adults. So there's the wood carvers are going to be there. There's soap and lotion, and we, the weavers are going to be there, the quilters. So there's lots of things for you to see, lots of things for you to do, whether you're an adult or whether you're a child. Good time, as always. Remind us again when and where we can uh, take part in all the fun. Absolutely. So it's happening this weekend, so September 17th and 18th, anytime between 12 and 6. And once again, it's free to come in, and it's right here behind me, so at the Lauer Historical Farm. That's, again, new this year. It is not at the farm park. It is at the Lauer Historical Farm. All right. Great location, Amy. Thank you so much. And we'll be back right after this.